Here we have a standard potentiometer that you'll see all the time. This happens to be a 10K pot. And uh, it's a physical device that changes resistance as you turn it. Think your volume knob is a potentiometer. And I have to wire up a lot of these for my music, musical projects because they're used to change the settings like with a dial or whatnot. And so I have to solder wires to the back of it. And as you know, I've been doing IT for a really long time. And I say that the best developer is the laziest developer because a lazy developer always wants to automate things. Lazy in a good way because they want to work on fun things, not mediocre things. And soldering wires to a potentiometer is very mediocre and time consuming. So I, I'd done various things in the past. I had used uh, reverse or invert tweezers to hold wires. I've used the blue tack stuff and it was frustrating for me. So I said, no, I got to figure out a better way. So what I did is I came up with a 3D printed part and I have it mounted in one of these Panavice Juniors. I actually have a, probably about a half a dozen of these and each of them has some sort of mount or jig or fixture as they're often called. Uh, held in it permanently so it's ready to go. I just grab it. This is what I use to do potentiometers. So here's how this works. What I do is I take the pot and let me unscrew the nut off of this one and I, I put it in place on this jig. Now if I want to further secure it, which is a good idea, I just take a second and I put the nut on the other side to hold it in place. Now he, here's where the magic comes in what happens is I take my piece of wire and I always use pre-tinned wires. So here's some, something I do a lot of ahead of time to save me time in the long run. I, I cut different lengths of wires and I tin them and I have them in little storage boxes so I can always grab them and go. Anyhow, if I wanted to solder this, now I take this and I put the one end in there. I push the wire through there, it holds the wire in place for me, and then I would come in with my soldering iron and then doop, little drop of solder right there, and good to go. And I have slots for the three different wires because you need the sensor line, the, the, uh, the, what is it, the sweeper, I can't remember the proper name of it, and uh, positive and negative. And this has worked out really well. I could solder these much, much, much faster than I could before with just a little bit of work to design and tweak this jig. As usual, there were like 10 iterations. So it took me longer to do that. But then from now on, it makes things so much faster. And let me take it out of here so you can get a little bit closer look. So it is simply, it's about uh, four centimeters across. The, the little slots here are set to fit into the Panavice. And it's got the little arm and a little support arm with little slots to hold the wires. And uh, it, it's really worked out beautifully. Now this, like a lot of my jigs and fixtures, this is all public domain. so. Go ahead and recreate it if you want. Uh, I do have the design in OpenSCAD if you want that. I also have the STL file if you would like that so you could print your own. It's a very easy print. It prints in place like that. Uh, and again, it saves a lot of time, a lot of frustration, which means the less time I could spend on fiddly things means more time I could spend solving problems. And that's what I want to do, solve problems, not learn how to solder. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you out if you're doing a lot of potentiometer wiring.